I wanted a career that I knew I wasn't ever going to get bored of, um, one that was constantly interesting and, and oncology definitely is that, especially medical oncology. So I was inspired by motivated and dedicated um, people that worked above me in that specialty when I was a junior doctor um, and it was a specialty that gave me an opportunity to be involved both clinically and academically in the field. So I chose to do oncology uh, treating cancer patients because um, I, uh, I think everybody knows somebody who's had cancer in their family, whether it be their parents or grandparents. And um, I think it's really important to have, uh, if you have that diagnosis, to have it explained well to you um, and uh, to feel as though you're well supported going through that treatment. I like people and I like communicating with people and having that very difficult interactions. And I find that a challenging thing. But at the same time, I'm also a bit of a geek, so I like the biological basis of things and also like kind of scientific discovery. So I feel that um, medical oncology in particular allows me to marry the two, and so I find working every day a joy. There's absolutely nothing stagnant about it. It's such a fast-paced specialty, and it's probably what you hear a lot of people say when they kind of talk about the positives in oncology, but it's just so true. And I think I'd probably underestimated that as... Uh, kind of junior doctor deciding what specialty I may, may decide to do and that's just become more apparent. It's very scientific and got a lot of biological background. It's very exciting because it's got some of the new and most interesting treatments that we've ever had. It's progressive over my career lifetime. Even in five years it's changed hugely but when I look back at the end of my career I'm going to be able to say it's changed absolutely monumentally more than any other specialty. Um, and also I really like people and patients and it is a really great specialty in terms of communication skills and getting um, good rapport with patients and a good patient-doctor relationship, so it ticks every box. I picked medical oncology because I wanted a career that I would constantly be learning and have a chance to be do a PhD, work with people who were active academically. I wanted um, a career in which I made a real impact um, on a patient's disease or illness and certainly when you're treating patients with cancer as an oncologist you have the opportunity to do that. In other specialties you might see a patient every six months and when you're on a rotation you would see them only once where for us we get really get to know our patients on a, on a regular basis and that's something that I, I really enjoy. I wanted a career that I could form meaningful relationships with my patients and oncology certainly does that. You're with the patient throughout their journey. So I love spending time with patients and their relatives. Um, it's uh, obviously a tough condition to treat sometimes and it can have sometimes good news and bad news, but helping people through the journey of their treatments is uh, really satisfying. The patient group, they're going through really tough times and they're inspiring. It's an emotionally challenging job, but I think that that's something I personally find really rewarding. Um, and as I mentioned, the academic side as well is something that's always motivated me. Medical oncology allows you to get really involved in the clinical trials aspects of things. So um, I get to recruit patients to trials, I get to uh, try novel um, or treat patients with novel medications, manage those toxicities, see the exciting outcomes. So that's something that's really exciting about doing the job on a day-to-day -day basis. Year on year um, we're using different treatments and year on year there are different dis discoveries in science and I feel that every year I can use different drugs and different treatments. I think it is probably the patient contact is the bit that I enjoy the most and getting that chance to really develop a relationship with your patients over a relatively short period of time. So I've only been in this job now for, what, six weeks? And there are some people that I've still met three or four times already and you really get to know them and their family story and the interactions that they have with their children when they come to clinic and it's really interesting to see that side of it and then see how they manage the side effects and how that impacts their life. The multidisciplinary team in which I work in are full of really dedicated people um, and we all want the best for our patients so that's a really special team to be involved with. Um, and finally, obviously, because of the patients. So my patients are, are, are great. Um, they're families, they're lovely people. Um, I learn so much from them. They're really inspiring how they deal with their diagnosis and their illness and uh, that's really rewarding. I don't see two patients in the same situation at any point in my day um, and I can see a research patient followed by a patient who's having adjuvant treatment followed by somebody who's at the beginning of their palliative journey and somebody at the end of their palliative journey all in the same day every day so it's really it, it never it never gets boring it never gets repetitive and it's always really interesting. It's very important to 
um, get some experience of the specialty. And that, that's often, as a, as a medical student or a, a young junior doctor, about speaking to people in that specialty, be that registrars. It doesn't have to be formal experience through having a post in the specialty, but you know, I did things like a taste a week um, and went along to clinics separately to kind of my normal training to find out a bit more about it. So I think at medical school, try and you know, get involved go to those placements, specialty modules if you can as a junior doctor, choosing that rotation. If you can do a project, you learn a lot more about the specialty and get off the wards, get to the clinics, because as oncology trainees, that's where we spend a lot of our time. It's really kind of spend some time kind of doing a rotation in it. Um, perhaps many people may not have the opportunity to do medical oncology um, as an F1 and F2 job. And what I perhaps did, which was useful, was a taste a week uh, where we really understand what kind of medical oncologists do as a consultant because that's really kind of what your career would be like uh, because as an SHO um, you're mainly on the wards and you're really not doing the oncology side of things. So it's quite an emotive specialty there's uh, a lot of emotions that can come with having cancer and the treatment so I think it's really important for uh, uh, doctors such as myself to have other interests and uh, to be able to do things outside just their work environment. Uh, so. Um, and I enjoy uh, going to the theatre or going to art galleries or playing sport and I think it's really crucial that people have other interests as well as their work. I think you need to be prepared that it's hard work. Um, I think oncology is a relatively difficult specialty emotionally um, to deal with. There is a lot of death but we are, because people accept that and know about that, um, there are lots of support networks in place. So. We've had an art therapy course that we've all gone on to try and help us deal with the more emotional aspects of the job. Um, and I think that's something that you need to bear in mind whether you can deal with it. And if you can, I think it's a, a great career if it's, you're academically minded and, and driven. To get as much experience as you can. So um, as a medical student, if you can get placements um, in, in, on the oncology wards um, or the palliative care wards, um, and then when you do your uh, foundation training and CMT training, uh, maybe try and um, get some rotations in oncology if you can, um, but if not, do some taster weeks. Um, but top tip would be to try and get a mentor, so try and find a friendly oncologist, and there are lots of them out there, um, that will mentor you, get you involved in projects um, to try and shape your CV for the uh, specialty interviews. Um, really spend some time in oncology, understand that it is predominantly an outpatient specialty where you, and, but there is an inpatient um, role as well and that there is a lot of challenges in terms of time and emotion uh, and you have to make sure that those things appeal to you rather than be something that will end up finding you stressed out and burnt out. So I think it's about really getting to understand what the specialty is before you do it. It is ultimately about being a good physician as well. So I'd also say that when you're a medical student and a young junior doctor and starting to go through your core medical training, actually it's important to emphasise that that's, that's really important and a good medical grounding is important as you make your way through different medical specialties and not becoming too narrow and too focused. It's good to have a broad base and then be building medical oncology as a specialty on top of that.